I'm Mickey McGrath, and this is the fourth in our series of Advent Reflections from Camden. And the painting we're looking at this week is called Mystic Rose. The rose is considered the queen of all flowers, and that's why it's been associated since ancient times as a title for Mary. And we also have the beautiful Advent hymn, Lo, how a rose air blooming. So roses and flowers of any kind are kind of a very common Advent symbols. Pink is a color of spiritual healing because it takes the red of fleshiness and the white of purity, spiritual purity, and blends them together. And so this past Sunday, we celebrated Gaudete Sunday, and the liturgical colors in church were pink or rose. Surrounding Mary here are angels from around the world as a symbol of our, the international, how all the world is rejoicing, which is what Gaudete means, let us rejoice, rejoicing at this beautiful moment of Christ's incarnation, God becoming flesh. Well, one of the things that strikes me about this painting is that Mary is a teenager, and it's very evident by the face. She looks maybe 13 to 14 years of age, and that is a message to me that God chose this human instrument, uh, this young woman, a woman of no social status, to be the birth -er, the, the the birth mother of the Christ, the one who brings life and love into the world. So, you know, here in the city of Camden, where there is there's definitely this, this sort of earthiness, this grittiness, this, this, um, uh, this sort of piece of humanity that, that often has to struggle to survive, and yet sort of from this we see these, you know, amazing expressions of, of God's grace and God's goodness, and so um, I, I think I think this painting does uh, communicates hope for for the city. Well, I, I work with an organization called Urban Promise, and the heartbeat of Urban Promise is uh, children and working with children that are growing up in a challenging and difficult. Uh, and often violent context. Um, and yet Urban Promise, what we try to provide is this place, this oasis of love. And so one of the touching things about uh, this picture is, is Mary cradling these two children, these angelic children, and in some ways uh, offering protection for them. And uh, it'll be interesting to see, we'll have a couple of our young people, uh, two young boys that have grown up in this program, comment on this picture and it will be interesting to see what they reflect on when they look at this this painting. I think the rose represents happiness of Mary and joy and Mary has two babies in one hand, one black, one white, and the other arm and I think it means to break the barrier of racism. Well, Jesus is important for Camden because Camden is a dangerous place in many people's perspective, but since I live here, it's not that dangerous. Camden is like a normal place to me, but to other people, it's different. They look at it as a dirty place, nothing's going to be accomplished, everything is not just terrible, and I think of it as a city of joy. Catches my eye is the uh, the rose in the painting because it's near her stomach and roses mean love and Jesus he was a great love to the world and he helped everybody. By Mary being black in the picture, it shows that everybody like everybody's equal. It doesn't like matter on their skin color. It just matters how they react and show others love and appreciation. Well, one, one of the striking things about the Mary story, I think, uh, again, is this teenage girl, this young girl of no social significance, makes herself available to God to become an instrument uh, from, and from which the Christ can be born. And uh, I think there's a message in that for us as we prepare for Christmas, that we make ourselves available, that we make ourselves uh, instruments so that Christ can be birthed through us. That gift of life, that gift of love, that gift of grace, 
that our world so desperately needs. God chooses to bear that gift through people, ordinary people like you and me.